Hello, hello again. Hello, Professor Dillard. Hello, fellow classmates. My name is Cortina Duck, and I'm going to be going over a case that has captivated the minds of people for the last 20 years nearly. I'm going to be going over the John Bonet Ramsey case. John Bonet Patricia Ramsey was a six year old girl from Boulder, Colorado, who was notoriously murdered in her home sometime between the night and the morning of December 25th and 26th in 1996. The case was intensely followed by the media due to the suspicious nature of the bizarre circumstances surrounding the murder and the subsequent investigation that took place as well. John Bonet Ramsey was born August 6th of 1990 in Atlanta, Georgia to John and Patsy Ramsey. John Bonet won several beauty pageants, Little Miss Colorado, Little Miss Sh Shovel, excuse me for butchering that, Colorado State All-Star Kids, um, American Royale Miss, and National Tiny Miss Beauty. Some background information on John Bonet Ramsey murder investigation is the fact that the six-year-old beauty pageant queen was found murdered in her Boulder, Colorado home on December 26 of 1996. No one has ever been charged in the case, which is absolutely peculiar, and the investigation is still open. Early suspicion fell on her parents, but they were exonerated after the DNA at the scene was found to belong to a male unrelated to the Ramsey family. A short life in the spotlight in 1996 started as a magical holiday season for the Ramsey family. Um, John's company, Access Graphics, had grossed more than one billion in revenue, and it was big news in the Ramsey community of Boulder, Colorado. Maybe it's the time of the year that John Bonet was killed. Maybe it's the fact that her parents were considered suspects and later cleared. Maybe it's because the murder of a six-year-old beauty queen has never been solved and it's just mind-boggling still to this date. What started out as exciting and memorable on Christmas morning for the Ramsey household um, later turned out to be very tragic. Uh, John Bonet and her brother Burke woke up to beautiful presents, one being a bicycle that John Bonet um, was taken outside later that afternoon and taught how to ride her bike by her dad, John. Um, later on that evening, they were going out to dinner to dine at a friend's house and then going to meet their other brother and sisters to go and partake on a Disney cruise. A questionable ransom note was discovered on December 26. The family was supposed to be heading out on John's private plane to Michigan to meet with other older siblings and then partake in a cruise. And then things changed when John was startled by screams from Patsy who discovered this elaborate three-page handwritten ransom note by someone who claimed to have kidnapped John Bonet and they demanded money money excuse me for the return of John Bonet the ransom note is a point of suspicion because for many people uh it was given that it was a proven it was proven to have been written in the Ramsey home as a practice ransom note so to speak um the ransom letter was found and several handwriting analysis experts have determined it was probable that patsy herself had written the letter 
the ransom note asks for exactly one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars which was an exact amount that john ramsey had earned as a bonus and that's where it just keeps taking more and more weird turns this ransom note that suddenly appeared it was a practice ransom note that experts say the mom had written the story just keeps on turning and twisting and it's more and more bizarre as it gets it goes further now 10 years after the fact after the murder john mark carr confessed via email to murdering john benet ramsey to a journalism professor named michael tracy um tracy had been emailing with mr carr for over four years in order to gain his trust in the emails sent to Tracy, John Mark Carr used the vernacular similar to that which was written in the note, in the ransom note left at the Ramsey house. Um, he also called Patsy by her nickname, Nettie. Um, it was strange he would even have knowledge of that. And then eventually, um, John Mark Carr confessed to being in love with John Bonet, and on that night in December, he hit over he hit over the head with a flashlight. In conversations with Michael Tracy and John Carr, um, it was just mind boggling. I guess um. He said things of the nature uh, that he had a nervous breakdown at that point. He think he must have um, kind of clicked in the head, he said. Um, he just lost it. He just really lost it and started really feeling strange and just kept on looking up at her. Um, her being John Bonet. And then all of a sudden, it was like, she was dead and once she was this little girl but now she's like a holy deity she was like a goddess at that point and she was beyond a child she was just like jesus that died on the cross and jesus died on the cross and transcended from being a man to being something immortal and that was what John Bonet became to John Carr. Um, he didn't give a damn, he said at one point, if anyone understood it or not. Um, he just looked up to her, he told Michael Tracy, that he looked up to her as though I just wanted to worship her and she was my goddess. On August 16th of 2008, with the assistance of British intelligence um, and Royal Thai authorities, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security was able to locate John Carr in Bangkok, where he traveled to avoid child pornography charges from the state of California. A few months later, after that, John Carr's confession to a Boulder, Colorado district attorney named Mary Lacey issued a formal apology to John Ramsey and his family stating that no one in the Ramsey family 